Thank you so much for tuning in today and staying fervent with me. Today, I wanted to encourage you with this word. In Habakkuk 3, 17 through 18, the prophet made a prayer unto God and he asked God, why does it seem like the wicked person always wins, always triumphs, it seems like, over the righteous? And God told him, they really don't triumph. Their time and their day will come. And as a result, the prophet closes out that book with this prayer and this praise. He said, though the fig tree fail to blossom and there be no fruit on the vine, Though the olive crops fail and yield no fruit, he said, this is what I'm going to do. Yet will I praise the Lord. Yet will I rejoice in the God of my salvation. Glory to God. This encourages us that no matter what we're going through, what we're facing, or if we're living in a time when things just don't make sense, whatever our dark season, whatever is perplexing us, be encouraged with what Habakkuk said today. Regardless of all of that, I don't see any fruit. I don't see any profit. I wonder why the wicked looks like he is winning. I'm still going to praise God. Yet I'm going to praise God. Yet I'm going to praise the Lord. Yet I'm going to lift up my hands and magnify the Lord. Yet I'm going to keep on praying. Yet I'm going to keep believing God. Yes, I'm going to still stay in my prayer closet. God wants us to praise him anyhow. Don't give up because remember, God specializes in bringing dead things to life.